Joining me now in Hawks Live Gaming, LJ Collier. We had to get going. We were we were too busy chatting beforehand. We had to jump right into it. So we'll jump right into the gaming, right into the conversation here as we play a little NBA 2K20. So uh, we'll do teams. Do you have a way of picking teams here? Uh, no. Who, okay, we'll just who, do some random. We'll just do the two random, and if you don't like it, then pick one more. We'll okay. stick with that. All right, Celtics, my first one. It's pretty good. Pelicans, ooh. Cap. Yeah, but no Zion. This is this is updated. I probably should have turned the updates off. Ooh, Charlotte. I'll go with Boston. The team, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the uh, the dream team thing right there. Oh God, no. I rock with the 76ers. All right. Here we go, and I'll do. There we go. Nice little Eastern Conference matchup here. I dig that. Big 2K fan? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's my it's my ish. Yeah. <laughs> so of all the uh, teams, I guess are you are you watching still the NBA? Or? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm a Lakers fan. I'm okay. Excited. So AD and Braun in six. Tell Let's me go. about oh in six. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna win it all this year. There we go. Big claims. What what, what did you think after that opening game? I know some people had some thoughts. Clippers it's the first looked, game. Yeah. Kawhi Leonard's the real deal. Like no, there's no ifs ands or buts around. Yeah. A dude can play it, and he, I swear he doesn't breathe. But you know, <laughs> I'm not really a LeBron fan, but he can't. LeBron James is the best basketball player in the world. Yeah. He does this for a reason. He's gonna stay calm. We're gonna do what we gotta do. Do you think he's the greatest of all time? No, nah, Kobe Bryant is. Oh, Kobe Bryant. There you go. Hey man. Why Kobe over Jordan and LeBron? What? He's just nasty, man. His mentality, what he do, he's just he's a scorer, man. He. He's just a dog, and like you see, like just like what's going on with Kyrie Irving right now, people are mad at him. I mean, he's just passionate. That's why he went to the Nets because he didn't want to go somewhere and join somebody because he want to do it himself. That's yep. how I see it. I don't know, man. He's just passionate. He want to win. Do you like that? Do you like those guys who want to do it themselves yeah. versus the uh, the Miami Heat, Golden State style? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. And this, we can we can say Golden State was really a, a powerhouse. That was when KD got there, but That's before true. KD got there, they really was just a good basketball team. Yep. More yeah. Effective. All right, so getting right into this. LJ with the 76ers here. Me, I'm going Boston Celtics. And we'll, uh, we'll tip things off here. Bad record for me so far in this game, so I'm hoping to try and get a W. <laughs> Dwayne beat me by, I think, 20 points. And uh, we got closer on, like, Leno and everyone else. But see, early shots good. These early games be killing me. All right, well, we'll talk, some, we'll talk some basketball stuff here, or some football stuff rather than basketball stuff. Rookie year, I'm sure you're learning a lot so far about the game in the NFL at, at this level, but what's been one of the biggest lessons so far that you've learned this year? Uh, training camp's a big deal. You need that. Yep. And really just, man, every practice counts because, you know, Sunday gets here quick. And you can't take any day for granted. You really got to be on your technique, man. You got to be technique sound. And really, the NFL humbled me when I first got here. I ain't going to lie to you. And I found out what I really need to work on and what I need to get better at. I'm just... What do you uh, what what do you think you need to get better at? Technique, you know. Yep. This is, this is plenty of better things. You know, I'm gonna take a look at myself after the season and just reevaluate with my team, and we're gonna get together. We're gonna do what we gotta do. Cause, you know, this is a you know big pro program, and they're used to winning. And you know, I wanna be a part of that any way I can. Yeah, I like that. So, Kemba on Joel, not gonna go well for me, I don't think. Yeah. That's, oh. You gave me that one. I'll just say you gave me that one. You're being nice. So what about uh, you're in the locker room and you're in that meeting room with a couple guys like Jadavian Clowney and Ziggy on. So what's it like having a couple veterans like that in that locker room to help in your first year? It's awesome, man. Those guys are, man, they're well-established, man. Just seeing how they work and how they grind and just, I'm getting it from all aspects. Those guys have been in the league 10 years, you know, to two to four. And I'm figuring out how they like it and how they get things done. And how they do things, yep. you know. So I'm just figuring out where I kind of like myself and how I can do things. It's just showing me what I need to do. And 
I'm taking a little bit from everybody. I love that. What, what, what else are you taking from the other position groups? Because I know some people don't even think about that, but what are you learning from the other groups out there? Man, Bobby Wagner is just... Uh, yeah. Tell me about that. Unreal, man. His work ethic him and KJ, man. Russ, all those guys. Look how they just strictly work for them. And, you know, they work hard. They come up here. They don't say much. And, you know, that's why they're in the position they're in. Yeah, I mean, that guy's 99 on Madden for a reason. I don't think they just give those away. So. Oh, yeah, I don't either, man. You yeah. can just see, like, <laughs> like their work ethic and stuff like that. And that's why I was so excited to come here, man, just to get to work with those guys. And, you know, they're the best in the game for a reason. And they've been the best for a long time, man. Like, yep. I ain't gonna lie, when I was in high school, it was like a point in time where I thought Seattle was unbeatable. Yeah. So, you know, LOB, you know, all those guys. Tell me what it was like when you got that call letting you know that, hey, you're, you're, you're coming up here. You're going to be a part of this organization. Man, it was just unreal because, you know, I didn't think I was going to go in the first round that day. And me and my family were, you know, I, I told my agent I really didn't even want to, you know, have it that day. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he convinced me and just for those guys to take a chance on me and give me an opportunity to come here and be with this great football team. And it's unreal. It's unreal, man. I love it. You know, I love it here. and I love the atmosphere. I love the environment. You know, even before I got here, people were telling me, <clears throat> Just the atmosphere out here. Yeah. You know, one, some guys are like, man, if you get to go anywhere, man, see, I was a good place, you know. And I really believe that just because some guys have came here this year, JD, you know, Al, Ziggy, they all come from different places in here, and, you know, it just makes me want to grind hard and be here, and, you know, because I felt like, you know, if I'm going to do anything, you know, why not? You know, Russ is playing unbelievable. He's playing his best ball right now, and he's the best quarterback in the league, me right now, just from watching stats and stuff yeah. like that. And, us, we've through one quarter and I feel like, man, it's just something you want to be a part of. Yeah. You know, this is why I need to, I feel like I need to grab another gear, you know, and help. That's what they brought me here to help out, you know, just do my role, and that's what I want to do. Love that. All right, 10-4, start of the second here. Close one, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not shooting well from the field, so you're not going to you're not gonna have any success if you can't shoot the rock, right? So. All right, we were talking about it off air, but let's get into it right now. I see on your your backpack here, we got some Dragon Ball Z, and we were talking anime. You're a big anime guy as well, I'd come to find out. I'm new to it, but yes, I am. I've watched so much anime this past year, it's unreal. Like, in my off-season, I, I told my agent I want to get into it as much as I can. <laughs> Well, just, what uh, what drew you to anime, especially I guess this late in life? You know, some people think you know cartoons are for kids. Why would you? I guess what would you tell them about anime and why you kind of gravitated to, to it later? I mean, I've always kind of been into it, but you know, growing up, and so I couldn't. Uh, I didn't have the channel that came on. Yeah. So I got in college last year, and I was just like, you know, it was my senior year, I ain't got much to do. Yep. Classes are done. Go home. Mm -hmm. So Dragon Ball Z is the big one. Goku, <clears throat> favorite character of all time? Of course, he's the the greatest fighter of all time. There you go. They say I like uh, Vegeta's, like you know what I'm saying. His yeah. uh, his style, his, everything he does. But he he's got I. a good story, you know. Conflicted, trying to be, you know, trying to fight off good, being evil. But uh, yeah, no, Goku's a man. Oh, definitely not, man. Just <laughs> you go straight like this. Goku straight. It. Just like if you watch Dragon Ball Super, the newer one that came out. Ooh, good steal. Yeah. <clears throat> I just like the Ultra Instinct. The Power of Tournament is unreal. Have you watched it? Yes, I have. It's unreal. <laughs> and like, I don't like watching it in Japanese, but it, it went so hard I, ha I had no choice. Yeah. And have you ever watched My Hero Ac Academia? Academia, yeah. A little bit. I'm not as, as versed on that one. Because DBZ, that was when I was a kid. You know, we'd come home from school. You know, we we turned Toonami on. We had Cartoon Network at my buddy's house. And we would all just go over there, you know, eat snacks and watch watch anime. And that's what it, uh, I just like downloaded this app called Funimation. There you go. My cousin's always talking about it. I knew about it growing up and I was like, man, they're always talking about how cool it is. So I binge watched, you know, all of it last summer, all the movies, <laughs> all the entire show, everything that came with it to play. I watched it. I was like, man, it's unreal. I love that. All right. 16-10, 30 seconds left here in the first half. Nice little matchup here with LJ and I guess TJ. I'll go by my initials today. Um, oh man, come on, you can't commit to that. Oh! Come on! Come on. Oh wow. Oh wow. Out of bounds, that's my ball. Oh, all right. Playing foolish here, need to lock it up. Um, all right, so if you're gonna, if you were the coach of the Seahawks basketball team, you had to draft five guys. What five guys are you are you putting on your roster? Ooh, nice three. three point range. Basketball guys. Got five yeah. So Going with dog George Fant off the rip. You know what I'm saying? He played. Yep. Uh, 
Let's go uh, with it, Malik Turner. He's a, he's a good shooter. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna go Bobby. I feel like he's pretty good. Uh, yeah. George. Bobby. Bobby. I'm going my dog, Coach Norton, because he came up there and okay, put on Okay, <laughs> there we go. No one's taking a coach so far. I like that. I'm going with Coach Norton. <laughs> um, who's the last one who got that jumper in there? I'm going to go with Chris Carson. He had a good jumper. Anytime uh, I've seen Chris get up okay. there, hey, man. He can, I, I like that team. Hey, man, I feel like we got a solid squad there. Yeah, that's a pretty physical team. I like that. Our coach us up, man. We got yeah. George at the five. What, what's yeah. your coaching style? What's, what sort of inspiration are you going to instill in your team here? Hey, man, we're going to run the court. Yeah. Hey, keep the ball moving. The ball don't touch the floor. Keep it rolling. <laughs> So I have to ask this question. You're a Texas guy. The, I think one of the biggest questions we talk about here in this country is the best barbecue. Texas for sure, but I'm a, I'm the type of guy that like there's a few places you can go, but I, I enjoy my dad's barbecue. There you go. What 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 does your dad do? What's the specific dish that you just? I mean, he make ribs. He can smoke a brisket, you know. But I ain't a lot of the best ribs I've ever eaten. Had to be my aunt, my aunt Nikki. Yeah, you know what, really? Unreal. I don't know what she puts on them. <laughs> and I went home in May, and my aunt Curlin made a brisket that was so good. You didn't need any sauce. It was just straight meat. No sauce. It was just straight meat. Oh, it's unreal, man. It makes you know, that's, that's the type of stuff you want to go home for, man. Yep. So has there been any food spots that you found here in Seattle that you like? Because I know that you know some people have a hard time adjusting oh. when they come up here to the Northwest. You know, it's a little bit different. A little more salmon, a little bit more seafood. Are you cool with that type of stuff? I mean, I'm getting used to it, uh, but I like Joey's. Yeah, I mean, can't go wrong there. But the footwork is pretty good. I mean, when you think about 1910, start of the second half here. We're going to see if we're going to, if I'm going to get any action. Oh, oh, now you're getting fancy. He was just, he was rope a me in the first half here. Just let me. Who's going to go? Yeah, who's going to take off now? Ooh. Uh -uh. Oh. Kemba, not worth that contract if you can't make those shots. Simmons, Richardson, Harris, Horford, and Embiid. So, Horford dishes to Embiid. As far as this defense and some of the things that you, I guess you you talked about the lessons you've learned and the things you want to improve on. But watching these other guys, what's been the most fun about watching and being a part of this Seahawks defense? Because you know it's usually all it's all business. We're talking about those types of things. But what, what's been just the most flat out fun for you? Man, just how much everybody just enjoying life, man. Just the atmosphere here. How much Pete and really care about you know just making it fun here. You know, not just coming for all right. Well, we pay you, so we gotta do this and that. And, and I've never been anywhere else, so I don't. Really know, but I know just come from college where you know you're just a number and they see you that they see you with actual people here and you know and they try to make it fun and if you do if you do your job at a high level you know they'll work with you and I like that man yep. everything's cool I, I love it man. okay so I've also seen some videos of you dancing and you got some good moves out there for a guy who has no moves <laughs> <laughs> I know I look like I do, but I don't. What would you get? What would you tell me? What, what's some advice you would give me? Hey man, just be yourself. It's all in the shoulders, man. Okay, in it's the all shoulders. All in the shoulders. Right. Do I got to hitch, right? I got to keep it, keep it tight, right? No, no crazy movements, too. No crazy movements. <laughs> okay, I can do that. I can do that. I've also seen you, you know, on the fashion cam looking good out there with the off-whites. Is that something, you know, that... Is that new? Have you always been like a big kind of sneakerhead? Or oh yeah, in college I loved it, man. But now it's just like the, I'm here and stuff, and I got more, you know, resources and stuff to get better shoes. Yep. You know, so that's what I'm gonna do. I don't like, you know, most guys like jewelry and stuff like that. Not my thing. Yeah, I like shoes and you know, some clothes. Not too overboard, but yep. I love shoes. You know, all types of shoes. What are your favorite? pair of shoes. Give, you can give me a, like a top five. I know that's tough for some people. I'm a sneakerhead too, so picking one is tough, but give me maybe like a Mount Rushmore top four kicks of all time. Mm, Mount Rushmore. Definitely you're gonna have the bread sixes, but the bread uh, 11s. Yep. Gotta have those on there. Yes, sir. And uh, the OG Chicago, the original ones. The ones. Mm -hmm. I like those. So I've always liked, you know, a pair I hope to have later on in life is the Red October Yeezys. Yep. Knew that's the new school right before, you know, he jumped mm -hmm. to Adidas. I'm 
trying to think. I like so many shoes, man. Just, I know. Like, By the way, twenty nine fourteen. LJ put, putting in work on the on the court as well right now. Oh yeah, we knew we knew what the vibe was. We, knew what the vibe was. <laughs> we all knew. So. Uh, I like those three. So one more. You got one more for me? Oh, it's not really an OG shoe, but you know I really like you know, any of the off whites. Yeah, you know, I like that. People love Virgil. I, I like that style of just, you know, taking an old shoe, taking something that's a John Witherspoon. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hey! What can you do about that? Let's go! Can't do anything about that. With the emoji tattoos and all. And the green. And the green. He's feeling himself now. I'm telling you, man. He's, he's going for Dwayne's record. I think Dwayne beat me by 20, so he's trying to get that, that, that 20 piece. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> first crowd, first crowd. He's making me earn him the hard way. The old fashioned way. Okay. My first green comes at the free throw line in the fourth quarter. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. What I should do is get a professional in here, have him play. Oh, <laughs> see. Get a guy who yeah. like. See, I was waiting for the smack talk to start. It took a few weeks, but here we go. Now, now, now we're getting into it. Yeah, hey. I may have to call up some of those guys, yeah, the, on the Portland Pro team, down I-5, see if they can come up here. Look at that. Big three. Big three. Whew. Celebration in tow, too. LJ, when you're off the court, what are, what are some of the things that you like to do when you go home, uh, when you're not playing 2K, when you're not smoking fools in 2K, what do you like to do? Uh, I really just like to relax, man. Just, I'm just told you I'm a big gamer. I'm not just straight like where I play just like these video games. And, like, Sports video games? Yeah, I like to play all types. Like they had a game called I switched to PS4 because they had uh, got the new God of War coming out. Yep. And then uh, what was that when it came? They had that Spider-Man come out on PS4. They that did. was awesome. And they got the this new uh, you know first person. Star Wars game coming out in a month on the 15th. Yep. That's Fall in order, I think. Mm -hmm. yep. That'll be pretty awesome, man. Yeah. I watched it for a while. They got an Avengers game coming out where you can play with Black yeah. uh, Black Widow. Yeah, you can customize the Avengers, so you can like customize what Iron Man's suit's going to be like, and you can customize the Hulk. You can play as the Hulk. Yeah. Like, it's going to be awesome, man. Like I really like doing stuff like that, because you know, I'm doing this 24-7, 365, and yep. it's like something to help me wind down. And, and just like we said about Dragon Ball Z, they're coming out with a, a first-person RPG game about uh, Goku's life. Yep. What, uh, did you play games as a kid, too? Is that something you like to do growing up? Oh, yeah, but I kind of, once I got to college, man, I got more in. Yep. So did you ever play any of those NCAA football games? Were you a big fan of those? I'm telling you, before I started playing, uh, <laughs> Playing this, like 2K, my player, throw the glory was where it was at. You know, I've never really, I like Madden, but throw the glory was something different, man. You know, yeah, campus you, legend. You know, keep your, well, I used to do kind of cheating. You know, I create, a, I create a player. I think everyone did that, right? You made yourself a 99. Yeah. You were a freshman. You know, I, you know, I never played my actual position, you know. Yeah, running back, but also, you know, return kick. You sleep, I played QB. <laughs> I remember one year, I went to Toledo, won the Heisman four there years you go. Ago, and went to the Natty. <laughs> Toledo, if you need work, just let LJ know. He's the man. He'll get you to the natty. For sure. <laughs> All right, 21-point game. This one's over. This one's in the bag. 30 seconds left. Um, so I guess as we're wrapping up this interview, pre-game, is there anything you like to do? Rituals, music, anything you're doing before you hit the field, before you're getting ready? Uh, I like to go out there. I run around the field. I always run around the field first before I get my stretching and stuff in. What are you listening to? Got that new Lil' Keat on, that new Young Thug. Yep. Or I got that new uh, The Baby. Or I go back to some old tracks. From the wing. It's a blowout. It's not good. If you're a Boston fan, you might want to look away. LJ putting in work, 45-22. Take a bow. One of the best to have on 2K yet. We'll try and see if we can get a best of matchup here. But LJ, appreciate it, my man. Appreciate you, man. Talk to you soon. All right, Dad.